to Afghanistan. Joining me now here back at home from Canberra is the Parliamentary Secretary to the Prime Minister and Immigration and Citizenship, Senator Kate Lundy. Good morning to you. Good morning, Ashley. And from Melbourne, joining me, the Manager of Opposition Business in the Senate, Mitch Fifield. Good morning, Ashley. Now, Mitch, we just saw then that Tony Abbott was very well behaved in that chat with Adam Bolton, but he's had some more controversial comments to make in Afghanistan. He's quoted today as saying, when it comes to Machiavellian bastardry, she's with the best of them. Is that an appropriate way, do you think, for an opposition leader to talk about a prime minister? Well, well I think Tony is right. Um, Julia Gillard has pursued the low road. Uh, she did engage in an act of political bastardry. She's done something which we haven't seen an Australian Prime Minister do before, and that is to seek to inject politics and to seek to gain partisan advantage from the visit to our troops of an opposition leader. Uh, it, it's something which you never would have seen John Howard do. Uh, Kevin Rudd never did, uh, but Julia Gillard has set a new low. She was well aware of the circumstances of uh, Tony's impending visit to Afghanistan, uh, well aware that uh, he was doing the right thing by not flagging that he was going there. Um, she could easily have uh, brushed off the issue, but she chose to compare her travelling arrangements and her circumstances uh, with those of Tony Abbott's, and it was to gain political advantage, and that's extremely poor form. Kate Lundy, we did see Julia Gillard muddy the waters when it came to this story. But was it an act of low bastardry on her part? Look, absolutely not. And I reject the way that uh, Mitch Fifield is trying to characterise it. I think we've made very clear right from the start that Mr, Mr Abbott's travel arrangements and his plans to go to Afghanistan are, are his business. I think clearly they have a different style. Mr Abbott is looking to do things that perhaps um, Ms Gillard didn't, wasn't going to do. Um, that's really up to them and I, I don't think there's anything going on here other than it's very important I think that both the Prime Minister and the Opposition Leader go to Afghanistan and see our troops. They've both done that now and I think that's very positive. But I, I totally reject this um, allegation by the opposition leader that there was some, some low act involved. I think it's, uh, he would know best, better than many perhaps that um, there's a place for robust debate, but I think it's being a, a bit precious the way he's presenting this. Well, Julie Gillard did though weigh in on those jet lag comments, comments that Tony Abbott now acknowledges were probably a little bit dopey at the time, but this is exactly what Julia Gillard did say in reaction to that. Well, I'll uh, let Mr Abbott work out his own sleeping patterns. Um, uh, for myself, obviously, as you know, I went to Afghanistan, uh, then to Zurich, then came here and did manage to get uh, eight hours sleep last night, and that prepared me for a very long day. Kate Lundy, shouldn't Julia Gillard have just stayed out of that altogether? Wasn't she manipulating the media, knowing the press would jump on this story, that Mr Abbott wasn't allowed to really respond and explain that he was actually going to Afghanistan on his way home? I think Mr Abbott has conceded that the, the comment he made in the first instance was, was probably not the best comment. So I think uh, we're all guilty of, um, of saying things that we later regret and I think this is a lesson that Mr Abbott has learnt the hard way. Um, it, it is very important, particularly in relation to when we're reflecting on and supporting our troops who are at war. It's not, there's no place to be flippant in that regard and I, I think we can all come away from this episode a little bit wiser and a little more circumspect about how seriously all Australians take our war effort in Afghanistan. Even Jul Julia Gillard should apologise. I mean, clearly she was intending to leave the impression that in her view Tony Abbott couldn't be bothered going to Afghanistan when she knew that wasn't the case, when she knew that he had plans. But Mitch Fifield, but is it really Mitch, Julia um, Gillard's place to have to, uh, to reveal Mr Abbott's travel plans? As she said, they're his business and it was really something that had to wait until after he'd gone there to be revealed, wasn't it? Well, of course, you can't reveal that, uh, that he's going beforehand. That's the protocol. Uh, but Julia Gillard, uh, in talking about sleeping patterns and uh, her own arrangements, she was clearly trying to leave the impression that Tony Abbott couldn't be bothered going, which wasn't the case because she knew that he was intending to go. She was deliberately leaving a misleading impression, and that's wrong. And do you think that impression has damaged the Coalition's uh, position on Afghanistan, that voters might have seen that as, as being something that Tony Abbott doesn't actually believe that you know it doesn't pay enough attention to to the cause there 
No, I, I think uh, what, what the public will take out of this episode is that um, uh, Julia Gillard isn't always straight uh, and that even even uh, a previously sacrosanct issue such as uh, political figures visiting our troops uh, is now something that Julia Gillard sees as uh, an opportunity to gain political advantage. That, I think, is what the Australian people take from this episode. OK, look, Mitch Firefield. Ashley. OK, last word, Kat Lundy, very quickly. Yeah, look, um, it was Tony Abbott who said jet lag, not anybody else. He needs to take responsibility for the words that he used. He could have said, I will make my own arrangements. Uh, and as the Prime Minister knows, or something like that. He chose to say jet lag. It was inappropriate, it was foolish, and he paid a political price for it. Yes, and well, the saga is still continuing. It's been going for a week, should. so I think everyone's probably getting a little bit sick of this whole thing. Um, we look forward to Mr Abbott coming home and having more to say on that, no doubt, when he touches down this morning. We will have more with our panel after the break. We'll also take a look at the prospects for the Aussie dollar this week. Stay with us.